the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one, today is second day of February, being Thursday, and we fall in all that time of church calendar year A. Today, the most church celebrates the presentation of the Lord, exactly 40 days from Christmas. We celebrate the presentation of the Lord. Early days will be coming from Prophet Malachi chapter 3, verse 1 to 4. A response to Psalm will come from Psalm 24, verse 10, B and C. A second reading will come from the book of Hebrew chapter 2, verse 14 to 18. A gospel message will come from Luke gospel chapter 2, verse 22 to 40. The theme of our message today is, is the presentation of the Lord in the temple of God. There is a law of Moses that said every firstborn son will be presented to the church, to the God as holy. And it gives those under which you must do that. So for you to do, you must do that, to present the child. And behold, Mary and Joseph had a first son. And they have to go by this rule the, of the Lord, given by Moses. And they go with a pair of turtle dove or, or pigeon. And they don't want them to obey the commandments of God, the, word, the, Lord, the law of God. And that's why they carry their child to the temple of God. And in the Jerusalem, they carried him from Bethlehem to, the, to that place in Jerusalem. And there was a, a man, a priest, a high priest called Simeon. This man had prayed for him to see the consolation of Israel. Who had been suffering. People have been praying, when shall we see the consolation of Nigeria? So Simeon was praying and said, when will this happen? And God promised him through the Holy Spirit that he will not die until he sees the consolation of Israel. And on that faithful day, Sunday day, that's the first, that's where it's in the, you know, the, the presentation of the child Jesus. That's what you see, you call Okane, the modern Sunday. And that's why you see it today where it's based in the scriptures. And they brought, they brought the child to the temple. And Simeon took the little child and prayed and looked up and said, Lord, you can let your servant now go in peace. For my eyes have seen this salvation prepared for all people. The light to enlighten the Gentiles and the glory of his people Israel. You see, that this child is going to be the glory of the people of God. It's going to be the light to enlighten the Gentiles. It's a light prepared for every human being. On the earth. That was the prophecy of Simeon. He said, For my eyes have seen your salvation. They have seen the, what he is yearned for. Let your servant go in peace. And uh, you look at the parents. The parents were marveling at what Simeon was saying about their child. And they look at the mother and say, Look, mother, your child will be a sign to be rejected. It will be a sign it will bring the rise and fall of many in Israel. All who accept him will rise, and all who rejected him will fail. And he goes on to tell him that the soul will pierce your heart so that the hidden thought of men will come to the open. And there was another prophetess, a widow for seven years. They lost their husband after seven years of marriage from her virginity. And she remained a widow to the age of eight something. And she had been yearning for the consolation of Israel. So when he came to the temple that day, he saw the child. I started telling people who are waiting for this consolation, that this is the man. That the man he stayed in the temple praying and fasting all the years of her life. As a widow, instead of going about, fornicating, but he went about fasting and prayer, telling widows that what you're supposed to do after you have lost your husband. And telling men that you should desire God. And pray for God for you to see the, the consolation of God. Because men hardly pray. 
And that's why I haven't presented the child to the temple. And the see, when you present the child to the temple, that was the fourth mystery, joyful mystery. To present the child, you must desire God. You present the child to the people who desire it. You present the child to people who have been waiting for him. In prayer and fasting. Now why you were presented in the temple. So if you don't desire God, he will not be presented to you. If you are not preparing the way for the Lord to come into you, he will not be presented to you. And if the mother of Mary, Mary and Joseph were not obedient to the church, they will not present their child. They must be obedient to the church. And when they present the child, the mother was happy, the father was happy, the people in God was happy, Simeon was fulfilled, Anna was fulfilled. Anytime you present God to the people of God, people who desire that feel with joy. That's why sometimes it baffles me when I see people who are in the church and are not happy when the Lord is being presented into their hearts. Yes. It's supposed to be joyful. It's supposed to be looking upon it to celebrate it. And this son that was presented to the devil who is our Lord Jesus Christ, prophet Malachi prophesies it that he will come. When he says, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I send my messenger to prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple. The messenger of the covenant in whom you delight. Yes, he's coming. Behold, he's coming, says the Lord of hosts. That's the prophecy. You can see that prophecy fulfilled today in the gospel message. But who can endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he's like a final fire and like full, 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 like fullness, like fullness soap. He will sit as a refiner and a purifier of silver. Today present right, uh, and he will purify the sons of Levi and refine them like gold and silver, till they present a right offering to the Lord. Yes, the essence of his coming is that he purify the people to be able to be presented to God. Then the offering of Judah and Jerusalem will be a present to the Lord, as in the day of old, as in the former years. Yes, when they have turned back to him, in obedience to him, when they have desired him, when they have waited for him, when they have obeyed him. And now why? The second reading was telling us about this, the Lord who came in our midst. Since the children share in flesh and blood, Jesus himself likewise partook of the same nature, that through death he might destroy him who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and deliver all, those who, through fear of death, were subjected to lifelong bondage. Yes. So the essence of Christ can be presented to the, for him to redeem us from the powers of the evil one. Remember First John chapter 3 that Jesus came to undo the work of the evil one. That's what Paul is telling us. For surely it is not with angels that he concerned, but with the descendants of Abraham. Yes. That the people came to redeem That's why he said he has to make his brethren in every respect so that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God. To make expatiation for sins of the people. For because, because he himself has suffered and been tempted, he is able to help those who are tempted. You see, he's not a priest that is not, he's a priest who has experienced everything like all of us. And that's the one we are asking to enter into our temple. That's the one we are being presented to, that will be presented to us today. And that the same is who understood this so we said, the Lord of hosts, he is the king of glory. He is the king of the glory. And what the same is say, okay, live high your hairs. Go high your shen doors. Let him enter the king of glory. Allow him to enter into your, into your temple of your life. Into your community, your family. Who is the king of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the violent. The Lord, the violent, he war. That's the one you should seek and let him enter into the temple and embrace him. You 
receive him as Simeon and I did today in joy. May God help us understand today that the presentation of the Lord in our midst is for our own redemption. We ask through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us. I will celebrate the presentation of our Lord in the temple of our house and the temple of our lives. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all. Yeah, 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 yeah.